Hello, this is Mike Lawless, and in this video, I'll discuss enzyme and transporter expression levels in GastroPlus 9.6. Before I get started, I want to give a special thanks to Dr. Haiying Zhou of Simulations Plus. Haiying provided uh, this Excel spreadsheet that contains references and the various expression levels of the transporters and enzymes in human, dog, monkey, and rat. This next slide is an outline of the video. First, I'll give an overview of expression, level, expression and transporter levels. I'll discuss the units, tissues, species, and kinetics. Then I'll discuss the specific enzymes and transporters defined in gastro plus tissues. And I'll specifically discuss the new ones that were added in gastro plus 9.6. Then I'll show a PBPK model and how where these uh, enzyme and transporter expression levels are defined within the model. And then finally, I'll demonstrate entering KM and Vmax for verbenone, uh, which is metabolized by 2C11 in rats. This next slide is an overview of protein expression levels. So we're gonna be discussing the various tissues uh, for example, in the GI tract, the liver, lung, and kidneys. The protein levels are expressed in milligrams per enzyme per gram of tissue. The GI tract contains several enzymes, such as SIPs and UGTs along the gas uh, tract. It also contains transporters, such as PGP. And when we define these transporters, they can be either efflux or influx transporters, and they can be on the apical or the basal lateral side. There are also enzymes in the liver and transporters, such as uh, OATP1B1, which will transport compounds from the bloodstream into the liver, and BCEP, which transports compounds that are in the liver into the canicular. We also have them defined in the kidney, enzymes such as sulfur transferase and uh, transporters such as OCT2. And then we can also define them in the lungs. So enzymes such as uh, sulfur transferase are defined in the young lungs in gastro plus 9.6. Uh, these are defined for human, dog, monkey, and rat. Of course, they're different enzymes in the different species, they're different families and transporters. And then the second part of this is you have to have the expression levels, but then you also have to obtain the uh, kinetics such as KM and Vmax. And in that way, you can uh, model the clearance of the compounds. The next few, line, uh, next few slides specifically discuss the, the uh, enzymes uh, in, currently in gastro plus 9.6. And then on these slides, I've also highlighted the ones in red that were newly added uh, in 9.6. So this is for human physiology. And this is where we have the most number of, of enzymes defined. So we have the P450s, a full complement in the liver and along the GI tract. UGT, the expression levels are defined in liver, kidney and the GI tract. Sulfur transferase is in, uh, has been defined uh, for all the different tissues, liver, lung, kidney, and then GI tract. These were newly added in, in gastro plus 9.6. For the transporters, we have a number of transporters in the liver that were newly entered in the kidney. Uh, of course, some of these OAT ones were already entered. And then in the GI tract, you, and you notice we have apical uh, defined along with basal lateral. Uh, for the dog physiology, uh, no new ones were added for 9.6, but you can see we have cytochrome P450 and UGT defined in the liver and along the GI tract. This next slide shows uh, dog physiology uh, transporters, uh, liver, kidney, and GI tract. All these were newly added for gastro plus 9.6. For monkey physiology, um, uh, the currently defined enzymes are in the liver and GI tract, and they were all added for uh, cytochrome P450. The transporters in monkey physiology are in the liver, kidney, and the GI tract. Again, these were newly added in 9.6. The rat physiology, for the liver, we added a number of cytochrome P450s and also along the GI tract. And then uh, the transporters in the rat, uh, PGP, um, breast cancer resistant protein, MRP2 and MRP3 in the liver, 
in the kidney, we have PGP and a couple other transporters. And then similarly in the gastric tra tract, we have uh, the apical, MRP2 apical, uh, BR BCRP apical, and PEPT1 apical. The pharmacokinetics tab of GastroPlus contains a button called Edit PPPK. And when we click on that, we see the tissues defined in the PPPK model. We double click on a tissue and that will show the uh, transporters uh, and um, enzymes in those particular um, tissues. So for example, here, this is for the lung tissue. Uh, we have sulfur transferases and then their expression levels in milligrams of enzyme per gram of tissue. Uh, similarly, for the kidneys, we have uh, transporters also uh, for this particular species. And here we're defined apical and basal lateral and either efflux or influx for these uh, transporters. I'll use a compound called verbenone uh, to illustrate uh, entering the rat uh, CYP2C11 kinetics and uh, this will of course use the expression levels that are, are defined in the various tissues. Verbenone is uh, actually a pheromone, a pheromone produced by bark beetles and uh, when the number of adults and larvae approach the maximum number that uh, the tree can support uh, the beetles start excreting this uh, pheromone and it's been used as a repellent because it would uh, if you put it on a tree, it would signal to the uh, beetles that their food supply is insufficient and uh, that they should move on to a more suitable host. Uh, verbenone is also used in, in perfumes. Uh, so I found this article in Drug, Dispos Drug Metabolism and Dis Disposition. Uh, it was published in 2003, and uh, it uh, has values for KMV max for rat uh, 2C11. So uh, this is verbenone, and what happens is that uh, this methyl group gets uh, oxidized, and so it puts an OH group in here. And then I would imagine that this, uh, this is certainly a candidate for uh, UGT, so it could uh, glucuronidate at this position and then uh, clear the compound that way. Uh, in the paper, uh, they used uh, re recombinant rat CYP2C11. Uh, measured a KM of 120 micromolar and the VMAX is 24 nanomolar per minute per um, um, nanomoles of uh, P450. So I started with uh, Verbenone and I imported the KM and VMAX predictions from ADMET predictor for human. And the reason I did this is that uh, to show you some of the enzyme expression levels uh, in the various tissues. So if we click on the pharmacokinetics tab, uh, we have the uh, edit PBPK button. And when you select that, this dialog box will come up. And then we can simply double click on a, um, a tissue and see the expression levels that are defined within gastro plus for the enzymes and similarly for the transporters. Now, if it's not defined in here, you would simply add transporter and then enter this information um, manually. Uh, going back to the compound tab, uh, this compound, uh, as we see, AdMet predictor pr predicted that it was a 3A4 substrate, uh, so it uh, predicted the kinetics uh, for that uh, particular enzyme. And you see the location can either be PBPK, gut, or liver. Uh, if it's PBPK, uh, it uses the expression levels in the various tissues and uh, then uses the KM and VMAX for that uh, particular tissue. So PBPK means that uh, if the enzyme is expressed in different tissues, uh, then the program will uh, use those uh, properties and uh, show the metabolism in that particular tissue. Uh, now the gut, uh, this needs to be defined uh, along the GI tract uh, for that particular physiology. Uh, so if you want any uh, metabolism in the gut wall, you would have to define it in this location, and that's typically standard. Uh, in this particular model, since it's a PBPK model, uh, we're not going to use this liver compartment. Uh, if you wanted to create a compartmental model where you included this in the liver, uh, then it would use these values here. And you'll notice that the uh, Vmax is in is a little different value for each of these uh, for the 
the PBPK tissue than it is in the gut and liver. And again, that has to do with the um, particular units uh, for um, a PBPK model or for this tissue, it's going to be in uh, milligrams per second uh, per milligram of enzyme. So it'll use those expression levels. Uh, for the other two, it's simply in milligrams per second. So let's cancel out of there. And then uh, I also want to show the uh, physiology in the uh, gut t tissue. And then here we see these expression levels defined for each one of the um, uh, compartments in the GI tract. Now let's switch to the um, rat physiology. Here when we click on this button, um, we'll um, we'll switch to the, the rat record. So this is the, the physiology in the gut and then for the pharmacokinetics. Here we're going to enter these uh, uh, Cayman VMAX values by hand. I'm going to click on the enzyme uh, button here and then we define uh, the uh, enzyme. So here we're going to uh, again uh, choose 2C11 which is right there. We're going to give it a location uh, for PBPK tissue and then uh, we can use the unit converter here uh, for this particular enzyme. Uh, this is recombinant SIPs, so presumably the in value in vitro value is unbound. Uh, then I would simply go up here and click on this particular um, button here. So for the in vitro value, the in vitro value is 24 and it's in nanomole per minute per nanomole of SIP and then the KM is 120 micromolar or micromole per liter here. So now we've got those entered and we simply click on the transfer uh, to the uh, enzymes and then close that and it converts these units here. Now we can go ahead and put in um, the 2C11 here again. And now if we put it in the gut, which is not defined, so I'm just going to click that there. Now when we save this, we get a message that the distribution uh, for this particular SIP is not defined uh, in the gut. So we don't have the expression levels here. So in uh, 9.6, it'll give you this warning and uh, it says the unknown intestinal distribution factors for 2C11 and that's because they're not defined. Uh, I'm not sure if they're in there or not. Uh, so we're going to go back and we're going to go in here and we're going to do, um, let me just show what that would do is it would put all ones in here. So uh, we don't want that. So I'm going to go back into the enzyme table and then simply for the, the um, excuse me, for the gut tissue here, I'm going to go ahead and delete that save that record and then now once we go to the gut physiology you'll see that it's cleared out here okay if we go into the to the um, 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 back into the compound window let's just do a simple 10 uh, milligram dose here then go into the simulation and uh, perform a simulation and so you see that um, as it enters the GI tract, this compound's well absorbed, 99%, and then when it uh, hits the liver, uh, it's metabolized via these kinetics, and so we get a fraction uh, oral bioavailability of 81%, and that's due to uh, uh, clearance by 2C11 uh, in the liver. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, if you have any questions, you can send me an email at mlawless at simulations-plus.com. Thank you.